Yo, what is going on, you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a really good slow mo for highlight videos in After Effects. And the day I tried looking this up, I never found anything. It was all slow mo for Premiere Pro. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys a good After Effects slow mo for highlight videos. And the first thing you want to do is just sync your clip with the beat. And as you can see, I already did that. And if you want to do that a little better, just click on the clip and then double click L and then click on the song, double click L and right here as you can see this is the beat and then this is the shot so it looks like this so that's done and then you want to listen very carefully i'm going to try to go fast but not too fast so you guys don't understand so make sure you go back if you don't understand something so first thing you want to do is go to where the yellow comes out and then you want to click Control shift d to split the clip i just put it on the audio back in it you want to make sure you're on the uh, fortnite clip you want to click Control shift d and then go to where he pulls out the gun right when he pulls out the gun so if i go right here so that's when he pulls out the gun i click this clip click Control shift d and now we've that and if you want it you probably want to make your kill sh clip shorter if you're doing a highlight video so it doesn't stay that long so it's gonna look like this. and that's fine all right so next thing you want to do is go to the clip that you split um when the guy was pulling out his gun and click Control alt t and then hold down shift and go right here you don't have to hold on shift if you don't want to it just snaps it in place and go right here Click a keyframe right there, put a keyframe right there, and then go to the end of that, place another keyframe, and then go to the um, clip and the kill, and then do the same thing. Control Alt T, click a keyframe there, and then go to the end and click a keyframe. And if you want to move your, um, if you want to move the line with your arrow keys, you have to hold down Control while doing it. It's not like Premiere Pro. Alright, so now, um, once you've done that, you want to go highlight these two keyframes when you take out the gun and click F9, and that'll make these easy ease. And then go to this button right here, the graph editor. And this is optional, but um, I think it looks really good in highlight videos. This is adding a kind of a pre kill slow mo for when the gun comes out. So you could just put this down a little bit and then put this up a little bit and kind of make it into like an S kind of shape. So it's going to look like this. And you can mess around with that. So maybe I can make it slower. All right, looks cool so far. And then um, you want to do the same thing to this, but you want to do it different. Make sure you guys keep watching because this isn't like a, it's not going to be a pattern where I do the same thing for each one. So this one, you want to click F9, go to the graph. And now this graph, you want to kind of make it like an exponential kind of curve like this um for highlight video editing you could do that or you could do another x shape s shape but if you want highlight videos need to have a flow kind of so right after the kill you just want it to be slow-mo and then just transition to the next clip if you go back to the normal motion it kind of looks weird so that's why you should do this so so that's a little too fast so what i do is i lower this down like this and i just keep like messing around with this so all right so luck looks a little better and if you're doing this if you're editing premiere pro and you're um for example if you go to right here and then right click your clip in premiere pro and click replace with after effects composition if that's what you're doing um, the audio wouldn't really matter, but if you put slow, if you're editing in After Effects and you put the slow mo on, you're gonna have to put in sound effects for the gun and stuff because the audio is gets all distorted. So, so that's how it looks now. And you can go a little higher, so you could put this in and then maybe go higher. It all depends on what everything is good. So. Maybe I'll put this more in. So honestly, it's up to you how you want to do that. But um, that's a general shape you should go for when you're doing the slow motion. 
And then last thing you want to do is you want to go to click off the graph, so you're off the graph. You want to go to the one, both of the ones with a slow mo, and then go to this first box. If you can't see this box, you have to click the button on here. It'll probably look for this. Just click this, and you'll see the four boxes, and then click the first box twice like that so and that just enables frame blending so there's no frame drops so as you can see that's kind of the, um that's kind of how you want to do it and i'm just gonna edit this one more time honestly you just gotta play around with it and then you, once you get a perfect like um, you don't have to change it. Alright, so I like that. So I think that'll be good. But I've, as you guys can see, it, I'm kind of keeping it in the same general shape. So yeah, that's pretty good. And... Uh, like you don't need to add the frame blending on these ones. You only do it with the ones with a slow mo because that'll prevent frame dropping. And um, if you do, if you're wondering what I said about editing in here and just doing the slow mo in here, uh, I get, if this video hits like I don't know 100 likes or p enough people comment, I'll make a video on um, how you do that because the slow mo isn't he the slow mo in here isn't the greatest. And if you right click this clip and click replace with after effects composition you can do it very smooth in after effects so i'll just show you guys this one more time so as you can see that is the how you do highlight video editing slow-mo in after effects and uh leave a like if you enjoyed and yeah peace out if you really want to show off to your friends and become a good editor i would definitely suggest subscribing i'm just gonna post really short tutorials under five minutes um every like three or four days so turn on notifications if you want to get really good at editing and and start making highlights videos for money or you can just show off to your friends it doesn't really matter i'm gonna be teaching you guys a lot so uh yeah make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on what effect i should do next peace